Welcome to our second tutorial on the join command. We saw some of these functions in our previous tutorial on the join command. Let's start by activating the join command. The join definition window opens. Let's select these four surfaces and click preview. Everything looks fine. However, if I check the check tangency option and then click preview, Katia gives me a warning. The result is not continuous in tangency. We don't have tangency right here, obviously. Let's click OK and exit this error message. Now let's activate the remove mode and remove this extrude. Click preview again. Now everything looks fine. Another option we have is to right click and choose Check Selection. Now click Preview. The intersections are displayed right here. Click OK. Now right click and Clear Selection. Select this surface, this surface. Right click and Check Selection. Click Preview. Katia lets us know that no topological problems were found. Basically, this means that nothing intersects. Click OK and OK again. Now when I click Preview, we've got no tangency and no connection between these two surfaces. Click OK to close the error message. We can still join these surfaces. Disable Check Tangency and Check Connexity. Now click Preview. And click OK. You see that we've joined these two elements even though they didn't have any connections. Let's double click on Join.1. Right here we can set the tolerance level. The Check Manifold option, this is available only when you're joining curves. Let's cancel for now. Right click and delete. OK. Let's shift select these extrudes. Right click and hide show. Let's bring up these curves. Right click, hide show. Now activate the join command again. Select this curve and this curve. We see that Check Manifold becomes active. Basically, this option lets us find out if the resulting join is manifold. Let's cancel out of this for now. We'll shift select these curves and hide them. Let's bring back our extrudes now. Right click, hide show. Now let's activate the join command again and join these three surfaces. Click OK. Activate the join tool again and select join 2 and extrude 9. Let's click on the sub elements to remove tab. I'll select this surface, click preview. We have a connexity issue, click OK. Let's go to the Parameters tab, deselect Check Connexity, and click Preview. This green border here represents our selection. This surface becomes deselected. If I click again now, this surface disappears, and Join 2 is under-intensified. That's how the Remove Sub-Elements option works. And this concludes our tutorial on the join command.